Welcome to this Lee Daniels Art quick tip tutorial, speedometers and gauges in After Effects. Start by adding a shape layer, rename lines one. And we're gonna add a rectangle and a fill. In the rectangle path options, reduce the size and offset the position. And then add a repeater and in the repeater transform options, set the position to zero. And on the repeater rotation, hold down the Alt key, click on the stopwatch and type in 360 divided by, and then using the pick whip, drag to the copies. Now, as we alter the amount of copies, it will automatically distribute the shapes. I'm gonna set this to 80. By adjusting the rectangle path, we can play around with the size of the lines. When you're happy with how it looks, duplicate the entire shape layer. Change the color of the fill to something slightly lighter. And in the repeater options, change the copies to 20. So when we alter the rectangle path, we can start to design the look of the speedometer. Add one more shape layer call it block and then we're going to add a polystar and a fill and turn that black and then in the polystar path options change to three points and in the transform controls move the anchor point down and by adjusting the scale you can play around with the shape of the block Add one final shape layer and we'll call this needle. We're going to add an ellipse and a fill. Duplicate the ellipse and alter the size and then offset the position. So by keyframing the rotation in the transform options you can animate the needle. Using this very simple process, you can design hundreds of different gauges. Right, that's the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe to my Lee Daniels Art YouTube channel where you'll find examples of some of my animated shorts, client work and news about upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching.